Algernon Dean. Al Algernon Dean. Yeah. Uh, do you have a do you have <laughs> do you have a nickname that people call you, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah he, hey, people call me Bean, man. Because when I tell them my first name, I just tell them call me by Bean. Oh, Bean. Like, okay. Yeah. Okay. And uh, you uh, what, you you say you went to the uh you you went to the orientation where now? Uh, MGR lease. Uh, MGR. That's 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 that uh, that's that that's that company out in uh Illinois, right? Uh huh. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, so when start from the beginning, man? Where? I mean, how how did you come to find out about MGR and and that was that was the company that you wanted to try out first? Uh, from your video YouTube. Okay, okay, appreciate it. So from yeah. so so from that, uh you you called you you called the uh the recruiter. Yeah, because I was already over here in Chicago and the company that I was gonna come over here with mm -hmm. he told me I was approved to come under them, but then when I get over here, they ain't changed so they was uh willing to send me on a flight back, but I said while well, I'm over here, I might as well try another company. Okay, so I'm not, so I'm not from here. I'm from North Carolina, so I said I might as well try another company instead it, of just going right back. Okay, so wait, you 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 went to MGR first, or you went to the no, other I, company first, and then you went to MGR? Yeah, the other company flew me out over here. What was what was that company? Uh, MP Carriers. M. What is it now? MP Carriers. M as in Mary. P as in Paul Carriers. Yes. Okay. Okay, and they was lo and they was located in Illinois too. Uh yes. So what was what was they was about? I mean, when you found out about them, what? What what day what day was about? You said they got you up there, but what happened when you got there? They told me I was approved on their insurance and everything, mm -hmm. and then uh, I started asking questions about the contract, and you know, and they wanted you to sign paperwork before you even um see the truck. I was like, then I started. I started to sign the paperwork, but then I said, hold on, I haven't even seen the truck. So I asked the owner, could I see the truck? And I saw I saw where it said I could never own the truck. Like, say, like, I wanted to uh, get business financing uh, and pay the truck off and take it wherever I want. I read in the contract, I could never, it said I could never own the truck. Yeah, so you you was coming in you 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 was just coming in as as a company driver for ten ninety nine, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, I was looking for like a lease lease purchase or something. Okay, so that's what you was in, initially looking for. So you was looking for a uh, lease purchase so that you can you know, like you said, take the truck where you want to take it to, but. Coming in, coming into this company, you find out that they don't do lease purchases. They just do, uh, they just do a company. You'll you'll be a company driver, but you'll be uh, you'll be responsible for, you know, responsible for renting the truck and being the ten ninety nine driver, right? Oh no, they do. They did lease purchase. Oh, they did lease. Uh, but wait, didn't you just say that they that that you couldn't buy the truck? Yeah, that's what I read in the contract. Like I, it said I could not buy the truck. It said I, I won't own the truck. Okay, so you're so again you you're coming in as a ten ninety nine guy. You're not you're not coming in as you know. Basically, what you're doing is just renting the truck to drive, pretty much. Yeah, that's that's what they were saying in the contract. But they saying. Lease purchase uh, after so many years, the truck will be yours. Oh, so that's I what they were saying. Oh, that's what they was. That's what they were saying. But then you get in there, and you find out that it was something different. 
Yeah, from what they were saying, like in the contract, like they give you all the stack of papers, and then you you read it, and they don't explain that you gotta look through all that yourself, and yeah. All right, so, so this is uh this is MP this this is uh this is MP carriers out of Chicago, Illinois, right? Uh yeah. Okay. So, so when you found out that that wasn't going to work for you since you was already out of I mean since you already in Illinois, which you know, there is an abundance of trucking companies, especially uh foreign black ops and the rest of them is out there. You decided to you know, try your hand with another company, and that's when you call. That's when you call MGR. Yeah, that's when I call MGR. All right, so you was almost well, you you was almost in MGR. What happened? Well, they had referred me to uh, a company. I guess a sister company of them, and named Vecto. What? Wait. You ever what? Heard of Wait, what what's what's the name of that company? Uh Vecto. Ve spell that if you could. V E C T O. Okay, so M G R was the one that No, M P Carriers. Oh, M P Carriers was the one that suggested Vetco. Yeah, Vetco. Okay. V E C T O. All right, so they so are they out of uh Illinois? Yeah, they uh huh. Oh, okay, okay. Did did you call did you did you call them or or no? You just went over to MGR. Yeah. No, I called them and so I went I went to uh they paid for my room and everything to, um, for me to get to the well, they paid for my room and stuff and Uber to get to a room. Yeah, so I can go and see see, see what it, so, see what Vetco yeah. was about. Yeah, so then so, I get there mm -hmm. and talk with the guy there, and then I ask him about the pay and stuff. That's when he says the lady is gonna call you on the phone about that. But I thought I was he was gonna let me know that. Then then once he told me that uh, you you start like on the first. But you won't get paid till like the thirtieth. I was like, hold on, that's <laughs> that's <laughs> hold up right quick. He he said you're gonna start on the first, so I'm assuming July first, right? Yeah, like round so, that and that's so you so you you gonna hold up, hold up, hold up. You you gonna you you gonna start on July first, right? <laughs> And then you're not gonna get you you're not gonna get paid until the end of the month. Yeah, he said the thirtieth. That's when you get your pay. But if you uh need cash advance up to three hundred dollars, <laughs> I like I can't do this right here. I got bills I gotta pay. So man, that cash advance like, that that cash that cash advance would kill you, bro. Yeah, that's why I said I can't do it. About time you give me a cash. About advance, time, about time cash you get a, about time you get a paycheck. At yeah, least you know, about a, a, at least you you know you figured about you you figure about you you figure about every every week you're going to take a cash advance. Say like about a hundred and fifty dollars. So let's let's do the low end because you know you probably might just you know just buying food or whatnot. But uh. You figure one hundred and fifty dollars there. That's about another hundred fifty. That's three hundred. That's about six hundred dollars coming out of your first paycheck alone. So you figure, let's say you get, I'm just saying, like maybe like three thousand or something like that, which ain't bad. But after taxes and then after your cash advances, yeah. you probably might be taking home about about twenty one hundred. At least that's that's still not bad considering if you. If you do the cash advance right, but if you don't, you set up to three hundred dollars, right? So you figured yeah. that's about six. That's about six. Six plus six, twelve. That's about twelve hundred dollars coming out of your first yeah. paycheck. The more than that, because they said they were going to give me, they give you a hundred and fifty dollars for mm -hmm. me laying over on the Monday. Right. That was Monday, yeah. So that would be like seven hundred and fifty dollars. They said you could use until if you if they they'll push it to the twenty third. You can get paid 
Wow. So you had to pay that seven fifty back. After, but you had to pay uh, that. But you had to pay both, that back. They're going to take all that out of your out of your paycheck. Yeah, they'll take that. And yeah, this, I said, no, nah, I already see, I already see now. This ain't gonna work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And this, and this is Vecto, V E C T O, right? Out of uh, yeah. Out of uh, out of Brush, look like this is what Brush, Illinois, or some shit like that. Yeah. Man. All right. So, all right. So, fast forward over to MGR, man. So you get over to MGR, you you get into you you get into orientation, and you decided, uh. MGR wasn't good for you either, huh? Yeah, cause um, man, I I just got nervous when I seen that contract, and then they want you to uh, sign it, and I saw all on weekly deductions. Like they went up, they went up even more from the time of the video when you mm-hmm. had called them. Mm-hmm. So what what not- what what deductions we talking about from MGR? What what are what are if you can remember, what what are these deductions we talking about here? Hold on, let me get my paper out. What? Oh, uh, you oh you took some notes. Okay, that's what's up. Yeah, because orientation they tell you you be looking. They tell you twenty one because I was looking to uh, Lisa uh, brand new Kenworth. Right. So in orientation they tell you the Kenworth is twenty one hundred and the Freightliners new Freightliners are two thousand. Wait 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 a week or a month. This is a week. Wait, wait. A brand new freight liner. A brand new freight liner is twenty one hundred dollars a week. Now two thousand a week, and for the Kenworth, it's a hundred dollars more. All right, so a Ken. A all right, so a Kenworth. The the Kenworth is twenty one hundred a a week. Yeah, a week. But that's just that's just they said it's from that's just uh the truck. Trailer and PD physical damage insurance. Okay, so then, so twenty yeah. so so you said that includes all the insurances, the tra- uh, the trailer rental, and and mm-hmm. whatever other stuff. But still, twenty one hundred dollars a week. Like, oh man, that's you a, figure twenty one hundred dollars times four. That's that's eight thousand. What? But what? Okay, let's get to the brass tax. But wait, 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 wait. Let, let's let's get to the brass tax of of twenty one hundred dollars. All right, twenty one hundred dollars is maybe is not bad. How they? The question is how they was going to pay you. Like, was you going to get paid percentage, or was you going to get paid uh, CPM? Percentage eighty eight percent. See, the other two companies were eighty percent. Mm-hmm. So I said, okay, this is 88%. Okay. All right, so this so is 88, 88% of the load, right? Yeah, 88% of the load. Well, the gross pay. Okay. So so percentage now now that's a good that's a good thing considering that you get paid percentage of the load. Now, the other question is am I going to get enough loads to cover for the payment? As well as having a profit as well. Is exactly. well is that possible? Did you did you find that out during orientation? Yeah, they said they can't guarantee that. <sighs> you know, see. they they can't guarantee that. And that's what they I was like, oh man. Yeah, see, right there, you you gonna so in other words, they're gonna say that one week you might be in the you might be good in the black. But they can't they they can't guarantee other weeks that you'll be in the black as well, pretty much. Yeah, and uh, let's see twenty one. I'm not finished with the deduction. See, that's why they tell you the twenty one hundred weekly. Then they take out uh five hundred dollars on top of that weekly for a ten thousand dollar down payment. Fuck. You can put on a, on a, on their truck that you're driving. Mm-hmm. Or you can either go outside and put that down on a truck. Okay. Yeah, so I said, what happens if you leave? They said you'll get that $10,000 back um, after 45 days. Mm-hmm. But, yeah, they automatically take that $500 out a week for your down payment. But what if you don't want to do that? They... 
Damn. They got three hundred dollars for cargo. Mm-hmm. Supposed to be for cargo and like goods. They got three hundred dollars a week be coming out, along with that. In the ELD service, thirty dollars monthly. Wow! So they yeah. they hitting they they hitting you up with with fees on top of fees on top of fees, bro. How 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 was we supposed to be making some money there? Exactly. That's what I was trying to figure out because I said I'm a hard runner. I would run, but I said ain't no. I'm trying to figure out how will I be able to even if I run hard, bring home. Cause the recruiter told me I can make anywhere from thirty five to six five hundred a week. Wait, 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 yeah. wait, wait. Thirty. All right. So you figure you said anywhere between thirty five hundred a week and sixty five hundred a week. Yeah, that's what the recruiter told me. Okay, so let's 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 let's, 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 let's focus on the low end. So if it if it's thirty five hundred a week, and and your and your 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 fees and everything, let's just say let's say your fees. Let's just round that up to like twenty five uh, hundred a week. So thirty five hundred a week. You you only you you only taking that's that's just after fees. Now it's a thousand dollars, so let's go with taxes and stuff. Well, yeah, they still well no, 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 no. If you if you're a ten ninety nine driver, they don't take out your taxes. You have to do it yourself. So let's say you're you know, you doing your taxes and all like that. Let's take my bracket. My bracket is about three hundred. So out of that thousand, I'm only taking home seven hundred dollars a week. That's 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 company status right there for some places. That's yeah. and I mean think about it. I mean and it, it is the truck is the truck lease purchase or just leasing with them? That's just lease rent. Lease they, rent. They oh, see, that's that's crazy. Seven hundred dollars. I'm just saying I'm I'm just saying seven hundred dollars on, on, on my end because of the because of my tax bracket. But still, if if that was if if that was the case, man, and y'all bring home seven hundred dollars, that's that's a waste, dude. That's that's not even worth it. Yeah, who who bring home seven hundred dollars? I'm just saying, you know, seven hundred dollars, I mean, you know, some companies you know, some company drivers are bringing home seven hundred dollars. I don't know if I, I, me personally, I wouldn't be no OTR <laughs> yeah. getting no seven hundred dollars. Yeah, being local, yeah, at least I can get home every day and get in my own damn bed. But you know, yeah. but for for seven hundred dollars being OTR, nah, that's 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 not worth it, bro. Yeah, it's not, and that's. Man, they still got they got three hundred dollar uh ELD deposit, but they said they don't take that um out right. They take that little by little, fifty dollars a week. Man, so you and decided have- so you decided, you know, after after all that said and done, you 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 that you that's that that was a no go. Yeah, man, I was whew, I was about to do it because I said, shoot, I'm already over here. But mm-hmm. Then they had the driver try to convince me that you already over here. Mm-hmm. And yeah, you already yeah. over here. Why don't you just give it a try? Whatever, whatever. Yeah, yeah try it out. It's walk away lease. Wow. Right then they had you sign all those paperwork. Then you be stuck in this bit. Mm-hmm. And I said, I'm, I'm well, at least a, at least you at, at least you um I gotta commend you, bro. Uh, what's your name again? Bean. What's your nickname? Yeah, Bean. Man, I, I gotta I, I gotta commend you, Bing. I, I you know, this uh you know, you, you really paid attention to detail. You know, a, a lot of people don't do that. They just they just quick to sign off and just accept whatever the company got. You know, they you know, and then they and then afterwards they get in and they realize that it was a bad deal and then now they're I, I'm not gonna say they're stuck, but you know, the company might throw back you know, put you know, do some pushback on you and be like, 
oh, well, you know, you signed off on this and this realized you signed that and, you know, we're going to take this and we're going to take that because you signed for it. You, on the other hand, you know, you you went in there, you know, eyes wide open and, you know, you 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 did what you 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 did good, bro. So are you so so where you at now? Are you are you back at home? Uh, you resetting no, um, or where you, where you at now? What's what's the what's the next step for you? I'm in a room. I'm in a hotel room, and I'm looking. I'm looking before I have to take the uh, flight back to North Carolina. Oh, okay, okay. So you're gonna try. You're gonna you're gonna try something else. Well, there's you know what, man. There's this. Uh, I mean, what what are you actually? Before I suggest this company. What are you actually looking for? Are are you just sorely looking for lease purchase or well, let me rephrase this. How long you been in the game? How how long you been trucking? Four, four years. All right, so you got so you got 4 years of experience. Um mm -hmm. All right, so what what are you actually looking for at this point? Man, the way I was I was looking to lease purchase, but I don't know about the leases now. Uh, Cause I got a truck of my own. I need to uh, get repaired back at the house. So I figure I could jump in a newer truck where I could make make my money at least make around thirty five or or better bring home. So I, I guess I was just trying to uh, lease. At least purchase something so I can make that money, and mm -hmm. you know. Well, you know what? Let me let let me um let me let me let me do some looking up right quick because um this company is out of uh is out of Illinois. Um, I I believe they have lease purchased there. I'm not sure, but let me let me look it up and. Um, let me look it up for you and and give you uh give you their phone number if if I can uh or send you the I could probably send you the link let me see hold on right quick yeah uh, cuz uh, uh let me see man, oh, oh, oh yeah here we go here we go hold on let me let me look in the let me look in the description all right, yeah, so check it out, all right? Um, it's a company called Arthur, A-R-T-U-R -R Express. They're located out of Illinois, too. Um, now, I am not sure if they have uh, leasing there, but I, I do believe they, got, uh, they do offer percentage um, as well as CPM. Um, if you can, if you can get a hold of uh, Steve Green, uh, he's the uh, he's the recruiter. Um, you can uh, get at him at three. Uh, you got a pen or something like that? Yeah, I'm writing it down at the street. All right, it's it's uh, three one four seven one four three four zero zero extension three three seven seven. So yeah, give him, you know, give him a call tomorrow. Probably, you know, I, I, this ain't the holiday or nothing like that. So he should be, uh, he should be in tomorrow. You know, after eight o'clock or something like that. You know, give him time to get in and get situated before you give him a call and uh, call him up. Tell him that uh, you know, lockout men referred you, and um, and uh, talk to him. Because they're, you know, they're based out of Illinois too, but they're not like they're they're not like any other Ill other Illinois company. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so like yeah, right now I'm like kind of. Well, my mother was just telling me, uh, this uh, get from Illinois because this thing I don't know what's going on in Illinois. Yeah, Ill yeah, <laughs> yeah, and, yeah. I mean, well, don't get me wrong. I I, I ain't gonna talk bad about uh, uh, Illinois companies because, like, you know, some black ops companies, and what I mean by black ops, you know, some foreign companies, the Russian and all like that. I mean, if you have like a messed up DAC report, or you know, you got some skirmishes, at least they'll mm -hmm. give you 
they'll they'll yeah. give you a second chance. You know what I'm saying? They'll yeah. they'll you know they'll they'll overlook some of the skirmishes and they'll give you a second chance. So that's the that's the right. good thing about it. But sometimes you know you still you still got to do your 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 due diligence and and still you know read the fine print make sure you know what the fuck you're signing out there because you know you you could be signing you signing your life away into a bad deal that you might not be able to get out of so but uh being man hey i appreciate the call in i appreciate the you know i appreciate the conversation so you say you you say it's a no-go for mgr uh a no-go for mp carriers and definitely a no-go for uh v-e-c-t-o uh trucking uh, i guess so you said it's a no-go for all three of them huh oh did we get did we get disconnected hello oh there we go I, uh, okay okay i thought we got disconnected there did you hear what i said did, did you hear what i said yeah i said yeah, it's a no go for them. Yeah. Oh, uh, so it's a no go for all three of them, huh? Mhm. Mm all right, man. I well, just I wasn't trying to agree. Agreed uh, on terms. I got you, man. Well, hey, man. Thanks for the support of the show, man. I really do appreciate it. Uh, you know, if you want to give me some coffee this morning, you can. Uh, you can do that. Um, yo, if if you uh if let let me know how uh if you call Arthur. Let me know how mm -hmm. that let let me know how that went too. Okay, I'm gonna do some research on him, yeah, and give him a call. You said Monday morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give him a call tomorrow. You know, a little bit after eight. You know, I I think everybody files in at eight o'clock, so you know, give him a chance to get uh to get set up and uh and yeah, do the damn thing, man. Okay, where where are you you based out of? You you a driver, right? Yeah, I'm a driver. I'm based out of Ohio. Oh, yeah, okay. Yeah. So what company you drive for? I don't talk about the company I drive oh, for. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the com yeah, the, the, the company I drive for is uh is a small a small owned uh company out of Ohio, but I, I pretty much don't talk about them. Okay, do you drive uh local? Mm. No, I'm 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 I, I consider it's I, I consider what I do over the world regional. Like it's oh, it's okay. it's over the road, uh, you know. But we do like one lane. We we pick up our load. What makes us different is we pick up our loads at the terminal, take it to where it needs to go, and then come back and finish at the terminal. You see what I'm saying? Oh, okay. So yeah, it's not okay. like it's not like how all these other companies are that you know they they they. We get a load and then they'll find a load that's in the area and then they'll find a load that's in another area. No, nah, we mm -hmm. we get we we get a uh, terminal, every, terminal. yeah. Well, it's not terminal to terminal. It starts at the terminal and it ends at the terminal. Ends at the terminal. Okay, yeah. gotcha. That's how that works. All right, okay. brother man. Uh, again, I I appreciate you coming in, man. I I you know I. You know, this is uh, some good information for some uh, potential drivers that's thinking about going over to MGR, Vetto, and and MP carriers. You know, so yeah. I de I'll def you know I'll definitely uh, get that out to the people and uh and uh, let them make their decisions for themselves on what uh, what they want to do. All right, B man, yeah, you take it easy. All right, you stay okay, safe, you bro. Too, man. All right, man. All right, all right. Take care. You too. Now. Searching, searching. Searching, searching, searching and searching.